Hello students, I am Assistant Professor Yashwan Bahra from LG School of Law and today we will be continuing our topic of general exceptions from section uh, 87. Uh, like uh, in our previous lecture we have completed till section 86 and today we will be continuing with uh, section 87. So let's start uh, with the lecture. I hope you must have got the previous provisions of uh, general exceptions uh, now, again, I'm saying the general exceptions are the uh, exceptions which the person can avail or they can take benefits if he has done, uh, committed some crime and he was not having any intention uh, to commit that particular crime. Now, moving further to section 87, now you'll see section 87, it says that acts uh, not intended and not known to likely uh, to cause death or grievous done by a consent. Now, in this section, you will see uh, that nothing which is uh, which is not intended to cause death or grievous hurt and which is not known by the doer to be likely to cause death or grievous hurt is an offense by the reason of any harm which may cause or be intended by the doer to cause any harm uh, above the person who is uh, the, above the age of 18 years and he has consented for this particular act. Now consent, uh, you must have uh, heard the word consent in uh, torch also in contract also and regarding the consent there is uh, one a great uh, defense in the law of torch that is uh, you must be getting uh, I like any any guess it is a uh, voluntary non-fit injuria. You must be like you must have heard the voluntary non-fit injuria in the law of torts. It is one of the general defenses in the law of torts. He said he said that person if the person has uh, uh, given the consent for that particular act, then in that case the person cannot uh, like the person cannot be held liable for the acts which uh, or for the acts for which. Uh, he has suffered any injury. Now uh, moving uh, further, uh, like you must have seen uh, the definition of uh, the voluntary non-fit injuria. It says uh, that uh, the person who voluntarily gives consent for any harm to suffer would not be liable to claim any damages for the same uh, and the consent serve as a good defense against the plaintiff and the person. So, in the voluntary non-fit injury, if the person has uh, given the, or uh, consented, uh, the uh, has given the consent for the particular act, then in that case, he cannot claim for the damages or he cannot meet the other person liable. Okay. And uh, now moving for the section 88, it talks uh, about the act not intended to cause death and done by consent in a good faith of the person's benefit. Now in this particular section, you will see that what kind of persons are uh, included in this particular act. Okay, any, uh, any, any idea, any guess, uh, just uh, run your mind because criminals, like, not criminals, like criminal laws, they always use, uh, they always need an active mind so that the people can uh, understand the nature of the act again i'm seeing the nature of the act and i totally agree that you all not uh, belong to section 82 or 83 which talks about the dolly in capex as in you are mature enough to understand the act to understand the section uh, so uh, section 88 coming to section 88 it says that the act which is which is not intended to cause death is an offense by reason of any harm which may cause or be intended by the doer to cause or be known by the doer to, to be likely to cause to any person for whose benefit it is done in good faith or who has given a consent whether express or implied to suffer that harm or to take that particular harm then in that case the person who has committed the uh, offense or you can say who has committed the act will not be uh, charged under IPC and he can avail the benefits of section 88. Uh, now uh, we'll be uh, taking one example I'll be I'll, like I'll give you one example of a surgeon. Now if a surgeon like a, a surgeon uh, knows 
that the patient is in the in the painful harm and again if he uh, conducts operation of the patient there are less chances that the patient survive, survive. and if uh, he don't conduct the of, uh, operation then in that case it is for sure that the patient will be uh, dying so acting in a good faith a uh, doctor or the surgeon commits an operation of a patient and in consequence the patient uh, he unfortunately he died then in that case uh, the doctor can avail uh, the benefits under section 88 because he was acting in a good faith and he he, he again uh, conducted or you can say has acted uh, in a good faith and whether uh, the persons whether the person uh, and the deceased was having or his legal heir was uh, having the consent or you can say uh, at the express or the implied consent that was a need of time that doctor thought that yes if he will not do this particular operation then in that case the person will surely die but in case if uh, he commits uh, or sorry he he do an operation then in that case there are chances that the person survives now moving to section 89 before starting section 89 i want to give you one example uh, and then after that you tell me that uh, whether that per person is uh, 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 can be held liable for his acts or not uh, so the example goes like this that a is a person has uh, acted in a good faith for his child life uh, mm -hmm. that uh, there there is operation which has to be done to save his child and uh, he on his behalf of his child has give consented uh, to the surgeon that yes you please commit uh, sorry you please uh, do this particular operation okay and in uh, after doing the operation uh, unfortunately the child uh, passed away like he died now in that case whether that person or the guardian of the ch child is uh, liable or is not liable what you all think so under section uh, 89 it has been said that the act done in a good faith for the benefit of child or insane person by or by consent of a guardian is not a offense okay so in this particular section you will see the person who is under the 12 years of age or who is an unsound mind and again who either um, by the implied consent or either by the uh, express consent of the guardian or any other person who is having lawful authority or lawful charge over that particular person has committed an offense or is uh, like the committed an act then in that case and again acting in a good faith then in that case the person is not liable and he can avail the benefits under section 89 okay so you will see by the if you if you connect my example then you will see that in that case the person or the surgeon or you can say the guardian will not be liable and they can take benefits under section 89 now moving for the section uh, there are certain exceptions in the section now the first is that uh, that this exception shall not extend to the intentional causing of death or attempting to cause that secondly that the exception shall not extend uh, to doing anything which the person doing it knows to be likely to cause death for any purpose other than the preventing of death or grievous hurt or curing him and in, uh, from grievous diseases or infirmity. Thirdly, it says that uh, it shall not extend to voluntarily causing of grievous hurt or to attempt the cause of grievous hurt until and unless it be for the purpose of preventing the death or grievous hurt or curing the grievous hurt. Fourthly, it shall not extend to the abatement of any offense of the commission committing of the offense it would not extend now uh, the main is that the person is not this particular uh, section will not be applicable if the person is having intention 
or he is causing intentional harm to the uh, person then to commit like to commit the death of the person or to commit the grievous of hurt of the person rather for curing him he is inflicting harm upon him then in that case that section that, that this section will not be applicable on that particular person now moving further section 19 section 90 it talks about the consent uh, which is uh, given to person for the misconception uh, consent known to be given under a fear or misconception now oh, you must be uh, like having a knowledge of what is misconception now in contract you must have uh, read about the consent that it should be free and it should be all like it should not be because of any fear any threat any misconception anything it should be free so again in uh, under section 19 if the consent is of the person is taken uh, under uh, the fear or uh, under any misconception of fact then in that case the person uh, cannot be held liable and he can avail a uh, benefits under section 90 uh, now i think that you must have got the section 90 and sorry you can uh, uh, again uh, read the section and you you will be able to get that particular section now moving further uh, section 91 section 91 it talks about the exclusion of acts which are offenses independently of harm cause now the exceptions in the sections 87 88 and 88 do not extend to act which are offenses independently of any harm and which Uh, may cause or intended to cause or known to likely to cause the persons giving the consent on whom we have the consent is given uh, now again you will uh, get it by uh, seeing this particular example uh, listening this particular example that uh, there was uh, uh, you see that there was a uh, uh, need that if uh, in in the case uh, if the woman uh, is uh, conceiving a child and uh, she is having some complication in her pregnancy and again uh, in that particular uh, pregnancy she has to uh, miscarriage that child and uh, if she does not miscarriage then in that case uh, there are chances that she may dies so now acting in a good faith and again uh, Uh, acting in a good faith and uh, again uh, to save a life of the woman or the mother uh, uh, in that case uh, this particular act which is done by the guardian uh, or you can say uh, by the woman to miscarriage uh, that it will not be an offense because they have acted in a good faith and they can again take the benefit of section 91 now i think that you must have uh, got uh, the idea of the provisions uh, again from section uh, from the uh, general exceptions and you again i'll suggest you to please uh, read it from um, the bear act once connect the examples with your uh, real life you see around your uh, like you see around yourself and uh, I, now i uh, rest my lecture here and so thank you everyone and see you in next uh, lecture uh, with uh, the further will be continuing the general exceptions okay uh, thank you and have a nice day